everyone and welcome back to my youtube channel so today's video is a get ready with me i thought i just chat with you guys while doing my makeup and uh, my husband is watching my son axel so i have a little bit more time for myself to do my makeup which is so nice for the people who don't know my husband is working in tourism here in marmaris turkey and he's working for uh, six months every single day and the season is finally over and i say finally for me because <laughs> i have some more help at home which is so nice to have him here so yes i have a little bit more time to do my makeup today so i thought i film it and uh, yeah if you're excited for a new video don't forget to give the huge thumbs up because you really help my channel with that and if you haven't subscribed yet make sure you subscribe and now let's get started it's a bit cloudy today and i hope the light is okay like this and it finally feels like fall now here in Marmaris because it was still very like sunny and hot and it's still hot like it's still like 25 degrees outside so it is still hot but um, it does feel a bit more like we're going into fall um, I see everyone like putting their Christmas tree up already over on Instagram and I'm like, I don't know, I'm still wearing my flip-flops, you know, so so I don't really feel like putting my Christmas tree up yet and I'm also not really sure if I'm going to put it up this year because Axel is so active and I think he will just pull on it and I don't know, I'm not really sure yet what I'm going to do. I really want to put my Christmas tree up but I don't know. I know Axel will just get like everything off it and I'm not really sure. And when are you guys putting your Christmas tree up? Uh, in November or do you wait till December? I usually put it up like 20 or 25 November or something like that. Um, yeah, let me know when you guys put it up. By the way, I love this uh, foundation. This is from uh, Miss Sporty. And um, this is, let me see, the perfect stay 24 hours. Uh, long lasting foundation and this is so nice like it's very watery but i do find it's very like buildable and this is in the color ivory so yeah i use this and then i got a new um concealer this is from rival love me heart me um, this is from the Rosman and this is the color correcting concealer and this is in the group in the lightest shades this is in the color ivory and this does look like it's light enough for me because as you can see I'm so pale like this year I almost didn't see the sun usually I swim a lot in the sea and I get a little bit of a tan but this year because Axel is just very small you know I just didn't swim like that much so um, yeah I'm very pale but let's try this concealer I definitely need some concealer because I feel like it makes me look more awake i definitely have some like blue in their eyes because i'm quite tired i don't sleep a lot so that's why so let's see i just tap it in with my fingers the color does look all right also apply this on my eyelid for the base uh, for the eyeshadow later it does cover like my inner eyes although i would love it to be a bit lighter i think but it's all right the applicator is quite small i had one before from revolution i believe and that was quite like a chunky applicator and i found that very like nice but uh, this one is a bit smaller. It does give like a medium coverage, I would say. But it is buildable. And I've never heard of this brand before, but yeah, it is nice. Let's see how it holds up. Let's now use some powder. And I'm going to use my Chanel powder. This is the um, Natural Finish Loose Powder. And I'm going to apply this with a fluffy brush. And I think I'm going to try to dab it in uh, underneath my eyes maybe it will hold up a bit better during the day so let's see and then i'm going to use like a fluffy brush for my face And then I'm going to use some bronzer and I'm going to use the Golden Rose Bronzer in the color 203. And this is a very nice like shimmery bronzer. 
I also got some questions about like flying with a baby because we went to the Netherlands when Axel was like five months old and um, I have to say it was very easy I think it was easier then than it is now because now he's like walking and he doesn't want to sit still and when he was five months old he was not that active yet and um, so one thing that I would highly recommend is bring like a carrier with you I had Axel in front of me the whole time uh, in the airport and it was just very easy I think that's like the biggest tip like bring your carrier with you Another tip um, is to get like a night flight. We flew from Izmir to Amsterdam, which is like a three and a half hour flight. Um, we flew like really early in the morning, like about six. So we went to Izmir in the middle of the night. So he slept on, on the way uh, in the car, um, which was very nice. And then when we were at the airport, he was like wide awake. But it was fine, like we went to security and everything and he was like awake. And I was like hoping, oh my gosh, I hope he's going to sleep on the plane. And when we were on the plane, he slept the whole flight. So I was so lucky with that and uh, I was nursing him as well on the plane. So when the plane took off and um, he was nursing, uh, drinking and um, that also helped I think with his ears. And if your baby is using like a pacifier, that will also be great I think. But Axel just didn't use a pacifier a lot. So that is also a great tip. And now I'm going to use some blush and this is a Revolution palette. This is the, I believe, Flamingo palette. Um, it got some very nice blush shades in here. And um, I'm going to mix some of them. Uh, but yes, we was very lucky with Axel because he slept the whole plane right. The only thing when we went back, he didn't sleep at all. But he was also not crying, so it was fine. We also brought some toys with us, um, but he didn't really play with them. But if your baby likes to play, you can definitely bring like his favorite toys. And I think it's also good to look at the age of your baby, you know, if they are a bit older, like Axel now, he will definitely enjoy watching something maybe on the plane and like walking around and things. But if you feel nervous with flying with a small baby, uh, don't be like, I think it's much easier than uh, with a toddler, for example. Okay, so I just applied my blush and I'm going to use also a new highlighter today. And this is from uh, Catrice, the Caviar Gaucher palette. And as you can see, it is huge. Like, this lasts me like the longest time, I guess. Um, it is such like a nice, pretty color, like a champagne kind of shade. I think Catrice and Essence are like great budget makeup products. Same as uh, Makeup Revolution. As you can see, it has like the most... <laughs> Axel? And Axel's coming. <laughs> Axel? What's my man doing? Makeup pen? Mama makeup pen. So Axel just walked in. He's crying now. He's fine. My husband is there. But yes, this highlighter is so pretty as you can see. It's got like a very like natural shine to it. It's not as pigmented as my um, the balm highlighter but it's very very pretty if you love a more natural look this would be perfect yeah it's so pretty and um, so yeah let's do my eyebrows um i'm going to use my essence uh, eyebrow designer in the color blonde oh and by the way i forgot to mention that if you see some pink in my hair i dyed it with my arctic fox hair dye um, but it was not like strong enough. I need to do it again and I already washed it again So I need to do it one more time, but it was very nice just a bit too light And um, maybe I can film it like for a vlog if you like to see that Let me know in the comments down below But I had my hair baby pink before when we were going to Disneyland in 2019 I really liked it and it doesn't stay too long in your hair for about 10 washes I think um, but yes, I wanted again some pink hair, so if you are interested in it, let me know in the comments down below, then I can 
film we've made before in the vlog. So I'm now going to do my eyeshadow and I'm going to use this peachy palette which is from the uh, Primark. And I'm also going to use this new um, palette from, let me see, Trend It Up, which is so cute. It's like the tiniest little palette. And I already swatched some of the colors, but I haven't tried it on my eyes yet. And I used this palette, this peachy palette, like only one time. So yeah, let's try some colors. I have to say, I really like uh, Primark makeup. I think the quality is great and um, very well priced. So let's start with some transition colors. And this is very pigmented, <laughs> as you can see. That's a good sign. Very nice, very nice and pigmented, super pretty. I really like warm tones for my eyes, um, cool tones, I don't know, it doesn't look great with me. I'm going to add just the tiniest bit of this shade right here because I don't want it to be too dark. So let's just add the tiniest bit. And it's again very pigmented, so be careful. And I also tend to only use eyeshadow on my eyelids and not under my eyes because my eyes tend to get really like droopy. So I only apply eyeshadow on my eyelids. And only if I wear false lashes, then I sometimes use um, some eyeshadow under my eyes as well. But I'm not using that like on a daily basis. So then I'm going in with this glittery shade right here, which is a very nice like bronzy color. Very pretty. I'm going to use that on my eyelids. Oh, that's very nice. Again, super pigmented. Wow, I'm very impressed with this. Gorgeous. And I don't know if the camera picks it up, but it's like a very pretty shine. Gorgeous, yeah, I love it. And then I'm going to add the shimmer shade from this little palette in, my, uh, in the corner of my eyes. Then I'm going to use my favorite mascara, which is the Essence I Heart Extreme Crazy Volume Mascara. And this is almost finished up, but I always repurchase this one because it's just great. So then for my lips, I'm going to use a lip liner from a Makeup Studio. And the color is all faded away, so I'm not really sure what number this is. But it is like a nude shade. And then I got this lipstick from Revolution Beauty. This is in the color Shuffer. This is the perfect nude for me. Such a nice lipstick and I also love the packaging of it. I don't know if you can really tell, yeah. Look at that, that's so cute. And I think it's also a very nice color for the fall. And it does feel also very nice on my lips, like not dry at all. And because I like a little bit of gloss, I'm going to add my NYX Better Gloss in the color Eclair on top of that. I just like that my lips appear a bit bigger because my lips are quite small. <laughs> That's better. So I have to say I'm very, very impressed with the eyeshadow palette. I think it's so pretty. Like you can tell this is primer quality. It is very pigmented and just great. And what I also love about this is that you get like a mirror inside of it. So if you're going somewhere, you can bring this with you. And very pretty colors for every day. I really like the concealer as well. Let's see how it holds up during the day. I wish it was a bit lighter. Um, but as you can see, I'm just so pale, so I guess for most people this is light enough, but for me, I would have liked it a bit lighter. Uh, super impressed as well with the um, highlighter. Um, this will last me a very long time, and it's just 
yeah so pretty and natural and what else did I try that was new I believe that's it yeah this palette um, but I only tried like one color but it's also very nice and yeah but yes I really hope you guys enjoyed this get ready with me if you like to see more makeup related videos or if you have like a request for like a makeup look you would like to see please let me know in the comments down below and if you enjoyed this video don't forget to give the huge thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed yet make sure you subscribe and I hope to see you guys very soon in one of my other videos bye